Tony's uh, John Wanawa here, and look, uh, could I speak to uh, Tony Gildenhide, please? Sure, sorry, someone can I speak to her? John Wanawa. Tony, uh, look, it's John Wanawa here speaking. Hi. Hi, do you remember me? Uh, in relation to? That was to the case in London with, um, with, um, what's his name? Uh, yes, I do, yes. Yeah, that one. Yeah, I've left that on the, the back burner for now because I'm working with a uh, private investigator as a private prosecutor uh, with Graham Angus. He's an ex-UK um, detective sergeant. Anyway... Uh, he'll come aboard when I get uh, one of the, the first case. That's the one I was talking about on 61 Cook Street. I haven't done anything with it yet because I'm trying to get a meeting with um, uh, with uh, Mike uh, uh, Clement. Yeah. Um, I've sent him letters. Uh, this is to, for a case. Yeah. And uh, Peter Marshall's got that as well. But I thought, oh, I'll give you a ring because you might... It's been five days now. I haven't got a, a reply from him, yeah. uh, from Mike, so I thought you might be able to help me to, uh, to get that established. What I've done here is I'm linking up the Navy with, uh, with the uh, Defence Force back to Plymouth in London um, um, with the history of what I'm doing with the Admiralty Courts. Yeah. And so that's a big subject at the moment with the Supreme Court in a federal state which is here now from Australia so I've been following that through to see where and how that is, um, is, is going to come up against King William jurisdiction which is what I'm um, uh, going along with all, all this as everybody knows is on my Facebook because they're watching me uh, to try and uh, get some uh, sort of um, perspective on it for the history of, of the um, um, Admiralty Law <coughs> as applied to here. And that's what I wanted to explain what I've sent um, Mike. He would have had enough time to, and um, Peter Marshall, they would have had time to go over it now uh, for these cases. There's two fraud cases. I'm doing just fraud cases with, uh, with uh, Graham Elliott. Yeah. Being a UK guy, he knows all about how the law, law works in the Admiralty Court in London. I've managed to put um, Lee Warrant straight to the Judge Mackey in London in the High Court of Admiralty in London. And so, yeah, so, um, so we're, we're in there now, and that's been acknowledged. Yeah. Straight to the Judge, and straight here, uh, uh, the courts uh, will have to um, will have to um, uh, follow that line of uh, defence force. Yeah. Yeah. As far as that, you've got the police on one side, but you've got the defence force on the other side. Mm -hmm. What I'm trying to do now is to bring the defence force. <coughs> um, I'm bringing up uh, Jack Steer. He's the uh, uh, rear admiral, um, and I'm just waiting for him to call me. Mm -hmm. But I thought you might, um, you know, might um, help me at least to get a meeting with um, with Mike to explain myself. Okay, All I want to do is I don't want to get embarrassing. Where does Mike work? He's the, um, he's the area commanding officer for the police department in Auckland. The area commanding officer. Yeah. He, he's come up from Tauranga. He's been transferred. Yeah, that's right, yes, yes. Yeah, so he's the new one. Yeah. He's only been there since one year, yeah, last year. Yeah. So um, he's, um, you know, like... Um, um, uh, pretty fresh there, mm -hmm. uh, but his background is from where I come from, down the East Cape area of Tauranga. So you know, I'm trying to get the uh, coast guards and all that stuff where I'm at. I'm in the sea yeah. with all our project. Uh, I, I, I want to so call. Why do you want to meet with them? Yeah. Why? Why? To explain uh, what I've given him those um, those documents of the lien warrants that the judge has in, uh, in England yeah. in the High Court and, and they're very important 
as far as police are concerned, those are very important. When I go in with a warrant, it means that the people I have accused have no chance of refuting it now um, or any, any I think under admiralty law is severe. Okay. Uh, so well, that's, that's important. Have you tried to give them a call? Yeah, I have been trying for the last five days. Okay. And uh, I can't because Kay is his uh, uh, secretary. Yes. But I only get an answer phone all the time. So I thought, well, you know, you might be able to help me because at least you know a little bit about me. Yes. Okay, I'll, what's your contact number and I'll give you a call back and see if I can uh, uh, get through to him. Uh, it's 368-4842. Yeah. 368-4842. Okay. I'm on the waterfront and I've already had meeting with the CIB. The two guys that came here. So, um, uh, but they've been waiting for me to give them the warrants, but I haven't given it to anybody yet. Okay. Because I want a clear talk with the police first before we go anywhere. Okay, John. I'll, I'll have a look for you. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. I knew you would uh, help. Not a problem. You're a good man. Thank okay. you, John. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye. So that's um, uh, my, uh, that's uh, Tony Geldenhuis. He's the um, uh, he's the um, police uh, officer in the, <coughs> I think he was in the FBI side in, uh, in uh, the police force in Auckland Central. And he w helped very much with the um, Julian Falconer and Martin uh, Secluna bank and lawyers that ripped me off in London. Uh, supposed to be doing all this work I'm doing now with the courts uh, and the judges now. So now I've gone and taken their place to go straight into the court myself without them. And so they've cost a lot to, uh, to get that done. We got nothing out of it because they took off with the money. They sent me off to Malaysia to pick the money up from uh, Lloyds Bank. And uh, these guys here with the CIB, uh, they came here and uh, we, uh, we got, I got a letter at least from the police, from the CIB <coughs> um, unit to say that yes, it was a fraud. So we can chase that up with Graeme Ailes, um, a private investigators. Once we uh, once we get these court cases rolling, this guy here will get things going for us because of, like I said, I have a problem with getting in touch with um, Mike Clement, and this guy will shake it along um, uh, for me because he already knows me from the last uh, fraud case in um, in London. Uh, so um, uh, hopeful there that we'll get an answer. And at the moment, we're just um, trying to get contact with the naval um, rear admiral uh, over in Devonport, Devonport to Devonport, London. So the Devonport naval base. Uh, he's the um, uh, the new uh, commander in chief of the navy defence force, uh, and uh, so we wait for him to call so I can fill him in and bring the Defence Force and the Police Force together with Maui Crown. We are a force to reckon with because we are talking for the King. We are the King of the Sea. Jurisdiction. That's what I was just telling you. Um, and he knows. He knows what we are about because he got all our documents. Uh, many documents. Lots of documents. Um, so uh, he can pass the story on to uh, Mike. Mike is uh, uh, new. That's why he didn't know who Mike is. Mike Clement. He's just only new fellow there, he don't know. He's been there for a long time, these guys. Tony Gelder in the highs. So um, <coughs> I hope that uh, he can strike that up. And it, we need to, it's important that we sit down with the police till they're very clear about our intentions of arresting anybody with an Admiralty uh, Sheriff, badge, seal, uh, our documents, uh, King William seal, that's his sovereign seal, a British crown. Okay? We've got that over here, we've got a seal on this other side for Moa um, statue in London. Okay, So two seals and a flag, uh, King William flag and our Moa flag. See, So that's what I want to explain to the police so they can assist us and not the silent enemy that's um, uh, going rife here at the moment. So that's what I wanted to say, tell you uh, today, um, uh, 18th of um, November 2013.
last day for John Key to um, respond to the um, affidavit they wanted um, uh, wanted for criminal fraud um, notice seven days is up that's that's the requirement of the rules of the Admo uh, Court of Admiralty in London High Court Judge David Lindsay Mackey okay he's got all those documents there so we'll file that off to him he can deal with John Key we'll deal with him here with the police okay, for the rest so it's not me by myself we have London watching us too because there's a threat here on these land on the resources and the, and the people from Obama practicing this uh, admiralty law uh, court martial and Australia is doing the same thing too they're using the admiralty law court martial now it's over here in the Supreme Court here uh, surprise surprise admiralty uh, federal state is operating here from Australia right in the documents it's on Facebook I put it on there so you can see for yourself that that's what we are up against we are up against law against law okay we have a legal right to exercise the king's prerogative power over the queen's vice admiralty power of the navy right we have a king's admiral straight admiral jurisdiction and that's what we are exercising here that's the whole point of talking to the other side to make sure they're there for us. The military, the police are there for us. Okay? Thank you very much. We'll catch you later. Have a nice day. It's nice and warm now towards Christmas. And we'll see you again. Bye for now.